Nick, Nick, we need your help. We've got this client. They really need these texts to really pop. We need something, something that'll really impress them. I mean, it's got to blow their socks off. Like their feet will be completely bare. Do you know what is at stake here? The president of the United States needs these graphics. It's super important. What do you got? You know what? I've got just the thing. G'day everyone, welcome back to Fix It and Post. My name is Nick. Today, I'm gonna to share with you one of my techniques that is guaranteed to wow your clients every single time. Like every time I use this technique, the clients go, can we have more of that, please? Shut up and take my money. Now, obviously this is a technique that is only supposed to be used sparingly, so don't overdo it, but it does make the text look very special and it's a very good way to call things out. And that is using the light sweep that you can produce in After Effects. Now I'm gonna show you three ways to do it, so let's get started. All right, so we've got this first effect here and we're gonna apply an effect called CC Light Sweep. So let's go look for Light Sweep. Now this is the way I used to do it when I started using After Effects because it was just kind of an easy plugin to use. And as you can see, when you drag this little thing on, you can see the light sweep here. You can muck around with the, you know, the width or the intensity. Um, to really make it like stand out. It's not, it was the way I used to do it, but I have a much better way of doing it now, but I'll just throw, show you how to do it. So you just drag it on there. As you can see, this is affecting the center here, which is what this crosshair is doing. It's moving this backwards and forwards. And as you can see, it comes on. Let's set a keyframe, move it forward a little bit, and then let's set another keyframe and drag it across. And you'll get this kind of effect. It's very easy if you want to just get some really basic light sweeps going across and it's as easy as that. So if you're just in a bind and you don't have much time, it's not a bad option actually. All right, this is example two. Now this one's a little bit more complicated to set up, but I personally think it's a, a much better result. So what we're going to do is I've actually created a sweep only pass of the text itself. And the way you set that up basically, let's delete all this and let's start all over again. So as you can see here, this is just the logo animating in. Now we're gonna create a rectangle and so we'll go up here, uh, fill solid, so which is this one here. And it's a white box, so we'll just make sure we'll make sure it's white. Let's create a sliver of a rectangle here like this. And we'll go down to the rectangle and then transform rectangle. And then we'll just get a skew and sort of make it around the same angle as the text or whatever. It can be straight. I like to put it on an angle, even if the text is straight. I like to put it on an angle anyway. And let's find out when it finishes animating. So around there, let's set a keyframe here. So press P to bring up the position. And then we'll move across a little bit and we'll go around here. And we'll make the, we'll, we'll muck around the speed graph to actually make these keyframes move in and move out really nicely. Let's select these and press F9 to bring up the easy ease and let's go to there. And let's go and make sure that you're, you've selected the edit speed graph. And we can really, really pull these graph lines in so they're a little bit more. So as you can see here, it's like a lot nicer when it moves through. So it starts off really slow, gets really fast and then gets really slow. Sponsor time. Are you wasting your days trying to create motion graphics on a deadline? Well, grab some of that time back today using the Lyric Video Creator Kit. But Nick, I don't need to make any Lyric videos today. True, but did you know that the Lyric Video Creator Kit can be used for more than just Lyric videos? 22 customizable presets, templates, motion backgrounds, and best of all, you don't need any After Effects skills. Just drag and drop them onto your Premiere timeline and you're good to go. So what are you waiting for? Grab the Lyric Video Creator Kit today and when the president comes and asks you for those motion graphics quickly to defuse that conflict, you got them ready to go so you can save the world. Link in the description. All right, let's leave that. All right, that's cool. Now what we're gonna do is bring this to the top and we're gonna select Alpha Matte. And that's just gonna give us just the sheen itself. And so if we jump back into the other example, you can kind of see we've got the sheen just going across like that. That's probably a little bit fast, so I'm just gonna pull this out just a touch. I actually think it could be a little bit slower than that. Let's move these back out just a touch. It's not bad. Now, as you can see here, there's already a glow on here, which you probably already guessed the next step. And that is just adding the standard glow plugin. Uh, actually, that by itself is not too bad. I actually think that's like a pretty decent looking kind of tech sheen in itself. But if you want to just go that extra mile, 
I would suggest going to glow, type in glow in your effects panel and go stylize and then drag it on. And it'll give you not much of a glow, but a little bit of a glow. If you go to the glow radius, uh, you probably like see it actually kind of gives you a little bit more. And you know, you can mark around with the glow intensity and a few other things to really kind of really make it shine. But as you can see here, that is how you make that effect. And that is very cool. And I think that's a very effective way to basically call out your text. Um, and now I'm going to go to the final example, which is my way. And that, exactly, that is exactly the same way we did before. We just have a pass. But in this case, we're using deep glow. And I'll just show you. So this is just the original pass that we had before. But when you add deep glow, which is my favorite, one of my favorite plugins, drag deep glow. And this is a paid plugin, guys. It's not very expensive, but it'll definitely change your life. And look at that. That glow is just fantastic. I didn't have to even tweak anything. It just already works straight out of the box. So that is basically doing tech sheens in a nutshell. If you want to download the project file and pick it apart, see how I did the text, how, see how I did the uh, fix it and post logo, all that kind of good stuff, you can download it in the description below. And guys, if you're looking to do more text effects in After Effects, I've got this really awesome tutorial on how to basically create this echo effect in After Effects using some very simple techniques. Thanks guys, see you next time.